Oh, hello. Back for another story. Say, make sure you let the let your friends know about this. They can come to our Thief River Falls Radio Facebook page and catch Twitch and me as we bring you another story. Tonight, it's the gingerbread man. Now, this one's very richly illustrated, so I'm going to take a little time when I read this to show you the pictures. This is the first one. There's the little gingerbread man right there. Pictures are so big, I can barely get them on the camera. You ready? Once long ago in a little old house lived a little old man and a little old woman. The little old woman worked in the house all day, polishing and dusting and baking wonderful cakes and pies and cookies. The little old man worked all day in the garden. In the evening, he ate the wonderful cakes and pies and cookies that the little old woman had baked. There she is. One day, the little old woman said to herself, What can I bake for a surprise? I'm tired of the same old cakes and pies and cookies. I know. I'll make a gingerbread man. She carefully cut out the gingerbread man. She used two lavender gumdrops for his eyes, a licorice drop for his nose, and a red candy heart for his mouth. She put peppermint drop buttons on his jacket and made a hat of mint green sugar. Oh, he was a lovely gingerbread man. When she'd placed him in the oven, she hummed a little song, thinking of the old man's delight when he saw his surprise. After a bit, the little old woman opened the door of the oven to see if the gingerbread man was ready. Swish! Out he jumped. He laughed and ran across the kitchen. Stop, cried the little old woman. You're so su pretty surprised. We want to eat you. But the gingerbread man laughed and said, I am the gingerbread man, I am. I can run, I can, I can. And he ran out the door and passed the little old man in the garden. Up jumped the little old man. Stop, I want to eat you, gingerbread man, he shouted as he ran after the little old woman who was chasing the gingerbread man. There they are. But the gingerbread man just laughed. I am the gingerbread man, I am. I can run, I can, I can. And the little old man and the little old woman soon became tired and gave up the chase. The gingerbread man kept running down the lane. Soon he saw a brown cow grazing in the shade. The cow twitched her tail when she saw him. Stop, gingerbread man. I want to eat you, the cow mooed. But the gingerbread man just laughed and ran faster. I'm the gingerbread man, I am. I can run, I can, I can. I ran away from the old woman and the old man. I can run from you too, old cow. I can, I can. Soon the cow grew tired of running, but the gingerbread man kept on running. After a while, he passed a large black horse rolling in the field. The horse looked surprised to see a runaway gingerbread man. See the horse? Stop! I want to eat you, he neighed. But the gingerbread man just laughed and said, I am the gingerbread man. I am. I can run. I can. I can. I ran from an old woman and an old man and from a cow, too, and I can run away from you. I can. I can. He soon left the horse far behind him. Pretty soon, he met a yellow cat sunning herself in a daisy patch. Stop, I want to eat you, the cat mewed hungrily. But the gingerbread man just laughed and boasted, I am the gingerbread man, I am, I can run, I can, I can. I ran away from a little old woman and a little old man. Brown cow and a black horse, too. I can easily run away from you. Yes, I can. The ginger, gingerbread man ran faster. The cat ran after him until she saw another daisy patch and being very tired, she lay down in the sun again. Then just ahead of him, the gingerbread man saw a river. A red fox was sitting on the bank, blinking in the sun. <clears throat> Hello, gingerbread man, said the red fox. Are you going across the river? I've just finished a huge dinner and I'm about to swim back to my home on the other side. Would you like to ride on my back? The gingerbread man thought about it. 
Surely it would be all right since the fox said he had just finished his dinner. I'll climb up on your tail, the gingerbread man decided. That should be safe enough, he thought. Of course, agreed the fox. He jumped into the sparkling river. It's getting a little deep now, he said. Maybe you had better climb up on my back, just to keep dry, of course. The gingerbread man climbed up on the fox's back. That should be safe enough, he thought. Oh my, it's, it's, it's really deep now, said the fox as he swam along. Maybe you'd better climb up on top of my head, gingerbread man. And so the gingerbread man did just that. Oops, be careful, said the fox. I think you'd better climb on my nose so you won't fall off. The gingerbread man reminded himself that the fox had just eaten a very large dinner. He climbed onto the fox's nose and pop! That sly old fox gobbled the gingerbread man right up. Now, that was the very last gingerbread man ever to come down the lane past the cow and the horse and the cat and the fox. For the next time, the little old lady baked a gingerbread man. She was careful to keep the oven door closed until the little old man was all ready for his very special surprise. And there he is. It's the story of the gingerbread man. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again tomorrow night.